That seems to be a very, very popular question. Uh, we will definitely make a DVD for this record. And that's, that's, that's all I can say. I'm not sure when and where and what it's going to be like, but we are definitely going to make a DVD for, for, for this record. Okay. Um, growing up, uh, I didn't actually pick up the guitar until I was forced to take uh, classical guitar lessons when I was uh, about 12. I hated it, and uh, I remember my parents had to chase me around to go to um, uh, go to take lessons. So I kind of got turned off by the idea of of playing guitar, and I didn't really pick it up again until I was uh, probably about 16. And uh, I think my uncle, who uh, is no longer in the band, was probably one of the inspirations that I had back, back then. Um, as far as guitar players go, back then, I mean, it was it was a lot of different stuff. You know, Ingvi was definitely in there, and James Hetfield was probably one of my all-time favorites when it comes to rhythm and, you know, composition. Um, until I discovered Pantera. And I guess that when I discovered Pantera... A Cowboys from Hell. I was that was it for me. That was uh, I'd never heard anyone do stuff like that before. So that that really kind of made me want to do what what uh, what I do today. And um, first band, <laughs> uh, I think we were called Strong Page. Don't ask me about the um, description of that band. Uh, there are no demo tapes. And uh, we I was the, it was death metal. I was singing. Um, and we were a four-piece. We did first show. We, I think, guess we played four songs, and um, I mean, it was it was horrible. We had fun. And after that, I mean, I had a couple of various different bands that I was jamming with, and uh, then I, f I met Bjorn when I uh, when I went to uh, to high school, and uh, he was actually a guitar player at the time, and we we were looking for a singer, and. Uh, uh, he was he was the you know kind of the black metal dude that was walking around with long it's hard to hard to believe but he had long black curly hair and you know was kind of dressed up in leather jackets and stuff and you know I was like man you know that's cool you know he looks kind of like a front man you know and so we asked him if he wanted to audition he's like well I'm a guitar player I was like well it doesn't matter let's try it out and and you know I guess you know he was he was a diamond in the rough back then you know which you know obviously today is a f brilliant phenomenal singer and. Uh, the the rest is kind of history, you know. That that's kind of a that's how kind of everything went about. This might sound a little anti-commercial, but uh, you know, I think Soulwork has always kind of strived to have that one song that would maybe be able to go over well on the radio. But we decided not to do that for this record, and uh, and kind of bring back a little bit of the older element where the songs are a little bit longer and. Uh, bring back more leads, which we've actually, has actually decreased ever since um, uh, Natural Born Chaos, I guess, and um, so I, honestly we didn't really think about that this time. We, we really just wanted to make a record that for us was true and it was something that we really felt represented us and we put where we could, you know, really feel like our heart was in it, you know, not to say that it wasn't before, but um, it was just one of those things where we really felt like, um, you know, we wanted to uh, to do what we felt was fun and not think so much about like what, how it was going to be perceived. And you know, I think in a way that that's the reason the album came out as as good as it did. And uh, I think it has something for um, for everyone. Um, he Matthias E. Eklund is still one of my top favorite guitar players. He is wonderful human being, an amazing inspiration for me, and yes, I would absolutely work with him again if there was an opportunity for me to do so. Man, that's a tough question, you know, uh, it's hard to say. You know, I, I, I really feel like we, we're, we are right now, uh, you know, we're doing this record and we're definitely, you know, we're loving what we do, so, you know, basically that's all I can say right now, you know. We're, we're really just feel fortunate that we can do what we do. Do I think that the old Soul Rock style fits us best? Um, 
that's <laughs> I guess that's hard to say because we don't really play the old stuff anymore. You know, we were kind of, you know, I think that this new record is kind of a hybrid, you know, of, of, of the old stuff and the new stuff, you know. I don't really think that we need to do another chain our machine. I know a lot of people are asking for it, but that record has been done, you know, so it's the same thing as saying that at the gates would have to do another slaughter of the soul, you know. I mean, why would you try to compete with something that's already that good, you know? when you can take parts of what you do now, which you feel is representative of you, and blend that with what you have back in the day. I think that's a better combination than trying to, to su surpass something by writing something with the intention of m trying to make it sound that way, you know, because it usually never comes out sounding that good. I think you're nuts. <laughs> No, I think it's it's really cool, and I, I really feel like that's um, that's something that um, you know it really shows uh, true dedication to what we do, and it's kind of awesome to feel like you know you've really accomplished something in our life, and and I, I know that we all feel like we're very blessed and fortunate to be able to do what we do, because I know that there's a lot of people who would want to be able to do that. Having said that, you know, like I I. Um, you know, I don't have a soul work tattoo, but I still, I still feel soul work in my heart, you know. But absolutely, it's flattering, and you know, I keep sending those pictures to us, and you know, it, it would, we really appreciate you guys doing it. Uh, the best Swedish beer out there, I would probably say uh, Maria Stod. That's a, that's a good one. I mean, there's a lot of different beers, but that's the one that I prefer. Shane Carwin. Um, nobody would mess with me if I had the body of Shane Carwin. <laughs> oh man, um, what I like to watch. I mean, I, I'm I'm easy, man. It's it's like, um, you know, I love I love everything from sci-fi to you know tear jerkers and stuff like that. Uh, so you know, I, I think like last year's favorite for me was Avatar, you know, I, that was kind of a, that was, that was definitely the most intense movie I've seen in years, and, um, you know, it's, it's everything from that to, I'm not actually a huge horror movie fan anymore, because I think it's just, they don't really come up with anything new, man, I just, I like the older stuff. Favorite flavors. I'm kind of, I'm kind of neutral. You know, if I have to, if I have to pick a favorite kind of ice cream, it would probably be a. Um, uh, it's a, it's a Cold Stone one. Actually, it would be uh, a, a, the apple pie flavor. That one is my favorite, absolutely. The strangest food I've ever eaten. Well, probably there's this weird thing in Japan. Uh, I've had cow stomach. That was not it. But it's like this weird dish. Where it comes out with vegetables, and then there's this. It looks like, like, like dry skin on top of it that's actually moving, and that that was kind of freaking me out a little bit. It looked like maggots that were, you know, like really thin maggots that was moving. But I guess it was just the heat that was doing it. But I won't be I won't be applying for the the Star Foods show anytime soon. I guess I'll have to do Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, for me, it's. I guess 80, which would be, I guess, around 22 Celsius, and, uh, you know, just not a cloud in the sky, um, being on, you know, actually be, being on a lake or at the beach, something with water in a boat, you know, that's, 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 that's ideal for me, I love that. Uh, I don't. My wife does it for me, but I, I, I usually don't check it because I think a lot of it is, you know, just someone who's hired to make up things, you know, in the newspaper. So, no, I don't, I don't follow it.